What's up guys? Before we jump into the video, I wanna mention that this Thursday, May 5th, we have a brand new merch drop coming. Bunch of stuff, a couple honorable mentions. Three different color combos of these jerseys. New fabric as well, they're fire. New fabric, breathe. Super comfortable in honor of every single one of Evan's captions on Instagram, <laughs> yep. hashtag dirt bikes, and uh, yeah, a bunch of other sweatshirts, t shirts, hats. Go check out the website. I don't have it all here right now, but just go and scroll. But yeah, we appreciate the support. Seven o'clock this Thursday, be ready. All right, so we were supposed to leave at 4.30 for Wisconsin to go get our truck built. It's 5.07 currently, and uh, CJ didn't show up to the shop. We're gonna go wake him up. I don't think I've been back here since we put farm animals in their house. Uh, yeah, I haven't been allowed. She's locked up. Oh, he's coming, he's coming. He looks lost right now, he's not even in a hurry. Oh. What's good? What's up? It's all right. <laughs> so we just pulled up to our friends over at Custom Offsets. We're gonna be dropping the truck off for the next couple of days and uh, getting it built up. It needs it. Yeah, this truck is so lame, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, I'm so sick of driving the stock truck. So this one's gonna be even bigger than the SEMA truck. We're going with a 16 inch lift this time on 50s. So this will be just like a four and a half with some good wheels and tires on it. Usable, but cool. That's what we're going for. Practical, but not lame. We spent eight hours in the truck this morning. Well, actually, you guys probably saw that because I was late. You had to come wake me up. Oh, f It's never a good sign getting woken up to someone banging on your door. And I realized that is how Mike gets woken up every day. <laughs> this thing's hard to look at. <laughs> Very stock. That is a long truck. Yeah, I know. It feels kind of like a school bus when you're driving it. <laughs> Hopefully, it would, with like a wider stance, it'll feel better, like more planted. It should. Spacers for the rear. We'll be able to jump now. Oh yeah, you'll be able to jump. It. All right. And you, you got warranty on it? Uh, I'm gonna stay quiet now. <laughs> Banker just came in, told us the truck's ready. This will be our first time seeing it since we dropped it off. Oh, let's go. Okay, it looks, it looks pretty rough. dang good, yeah. dude. It's gonna be like too small and just kind of underwhelming. This is perfect. I the love wheels, it. When we were getting mounted, CJ even said, he's like, I don't know, but they look They look really good. They good. look good. At first I was a little scared. It used to be such a hot dog, dude. Now it looks proper. Yeah. Now the mirrors being up looks fitting. It does. It's always pulling, Ryan. Always pulling. God damn, I love it. This looks awesome. We need to be a little bit more conservative here. It's like, it still looks good. How tall was it before? I felt like it used to be like down here. It was like a car. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, bro. Absolutely appreciate it. Enjoy it. It's like pimp my ride. It is. Banker dude. my ride. And if you look in the back of the truck, we got a PS2 and a TV, a flat screen TV. <laughs> Truck's done, ride's great. This is a perfect build done by Banker at Custom Offsets. So huge thank you to Banker and huge thank you to Custom Offsets for coming through and just hooking it up on this build. Obviously we love the SEMA truck and yes, it actually did go to SEMA. So it is a SEMA truck for people commenting, but it's just not practical. And we keep getting pulled over driving around here. And that was kind of the whole purpose of buying this thing. And then we felt like it was kind of lame. So they took care of that problem for us. We're gonna link them down below. If you guys are looking for any kind of like wheels, tires, suspension, they'll get you taken care of. And you can use our referral code, C Boys TV. Give us a smell. What 
Dude, that's gonna get them. <laughs> it's smelling salts. Yeah. It's what they like wake up boxers after <laughs> being knocked out with, or like power lifters will take it before they like do their set. I'm gonna just go place this in front of Mike's nose and hopefully it'll give him a good wake up. He needs like a jump start in the morning. I've been trying to figure out what that thing's gonna be. Like I can't pour an energy drink down his throat, so I feel like this is really the only answer. What was that? That was a weird feeling. I cannot believe that didn't phase you. This is terrible. What about a taser? <laughs> Ken, take one good whiff. Yeah, you you didn't actually yeah. breathe it. Just give it a good one. Just Is that okay for you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, you should not have done that. Hey, you need to sit down. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's just smelling so good. It's intense. <laughs> just got this beauty Bonneville dropped off. I was thinking drive it forward till the wheels at the bump stop and then just floor it in reverse. All right, do it. Is. Mike, you want to do it with me? Yeah. I can't believe Ken yeah, came up with this like, idea and is going to execute it. He's a changed man. <laughs> Ever Oops. since the comments Ever since got the to comments him. Ever since the comments got to him. What are you doing, Mike? You riding with him? Yeah, he asked me to. <laughs> Mike, if I break my neck, you're breaking your neck too. <laughs> that was a lot smoother than I thought it would go. <laughs> All right, so the plan for the day, we're gonna try cutting this front wheel drive car in half, relocating the gas tank up to the front, and then driving it around as just like a half vehicle. We got a perfect specimen of a vehicle. Thanks to our subscriber, Zayden, hooked it up for free. This is gold right now. In today's market, a rolling vehicle is probably worth like at least two grand, so pretty nice of him. All right, let's get this on. Ken, this is your work, isn't it? It is, actually. <laughs> Dude, that's a perfect sled. You want to get towed around? I would like nothing more. Okay, you ready, Evan? I was hoping the sunroof was gonna break while you were on it. Well, that's not very nice of you. All right, now we just do the frame. And did we already relocate the fuel? No. No. But yeah, no. that's gonna be the hardest part. Well, who wants to do the bottom? <laughs> I mean, half the frame is rust, so the bottom is maybe gonna be just as easy as the top. <laughs> Doesn't look the cleanest, but let's wheel this out of here. We're officially in two pieces. Like All right, we're putting and, uh, the gas tank in here. I got the horse, and I couldn't. Should be the last step. That'll go there. We gotta figure out which line goes where, and then we'll use those lines. Mark's it's, been doing some serious rigging, like so it's a good thing he's here. Is this gonna be a safety hazard? Yes. yes. The no. whole thing <laughs> is a safety hazard. The real question is, is it a fire hazard? <laughs>
Like, that wasn't even that high. Wasn't even worth it. <laughs> That's so lame. <laughs> I hate to say this, but this might be a failed mission. I agree. I think it just is what it is. And All right, we're going to quit while we're ahead. If you guys saw the last video, I got a Lambo. I've owned it for one week, and now it's time to start throwing parts on it. I actually bought the wing before I even closed on the car, so thank God that went through. But I got this, basically, it's a... Uh, it's like the Huracan Performante wing. The only issue, most of the things that we work on were like underqualified, but we do them anyways. This one, we're actually underqualified, and I'm worried. So you actually have to drill holes to get that spoiler on? Like drill holes in this. Yep. Uh. <laughs> come, come on, You're come on, good. chill. You're good. We'll get her, Ben, don't worry. I don't know what that even goes to. All right. Ooh. All right, we're in good hands now. My uncle Randy, he's a contractor. He knows what he's doing. Measure once, cut twice, right? right. You nervous, Ben? I trust you. <laughs> Not the right size drill bit, just ream it out. All right. Got the touch of a Lamborghini oh certified. Yeah, just scratching everything <laughs> in the process. See, the end of your screwdriver is not even flat. Yeah, your tools are just so great. All right, moment of truth. Well, to the look. Make sure it fits. Like, like, there's just like some stretches where it's yeah. like... Oh, tight. Tight. Yeah. It's Tight. That's nice. an exact fit. Oh, Good work, boys. Oh my god, that's stressful. Good job, Randy. Good job, Randy. All right, so we're on our way to Red River Motorworks right now to go pick up my GTR. Uh, if you guys remember, last fall, I had done a few things to it. I put wheels on it, I lowered it, a few other things, but I wasn't super happy with the look. So anyways, last week I dropped off the car over at Red River Motorworks, and I had them put on some KW lowering springs that are adjustable, so they could go even lower. Pop up a little video of them right here. They're really nice springs, which Fitman Industries hooked up. Huge thank you to those guys. And then on top of that, I had them powder coat my wheels black. So we're gonna go swoop it up. What up? Oh, on the lift still. It looks so yeah. good. It. it looks so much better. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I love the black. Why didn't yeah. you just go with black right away? Because everyone does black, honestly. I wanted to do something different, but it just didn't turn out. The problem was it wasn't low enough either. Like how low your car is and like the fitment of the tire to the fender is so crucial to how it looks. Like it's one thing to have a dope aftermarket set of wheels, but if it doesn't fit right, it just it won't look good. Here, right? Maybe, we'll see. We want to do another meet though for sure. You should, last year's no. Yeah. Now we got race, except not in the rain, and we have to go to Mexico. So when you get a Lambo, you get to take up not one, but two handicapped parking spots. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> it's just one. one. Well, hey, some asshole in the TRX parked over there. So. Between the lines, bro. <laughs> well. <laughs> Yeah, baby, we alive. We alive. 